Today we're at the Loco Shed Models in Whitefield near Manchester and it is absolutely freezing, Pauline. <laughs> Let's go inside, get a brew and have a look at what's for sale. Come on. Chuffing egg, it's freezing. <laughs> There's Jim, the owner. Oh, it's lovely warm in here. In operation here at the shop now for 15, coming on 16 years. Unbelievably. And uh, how it all started in the old days, I used to live in a house just around the corner in the side street. Uh. At the time, I saw the shop and I always said to myself, if that ever came up as a model, you know, I'd love to try it as a model shop. Yeah. And one, one day it did become available. And, and, you know, from doing the toy fairs, a lot of people will know me from doing the swap meets and the toy fairs. Mm. I thought we'll try it as a shop. And we've survived all this time through COVID and a recession. We've actually managed to survive and, and do pretty well so we you know after looking after people it takes a long time to get established but you know you look after them and they do come back and support you which is great yeah yeah and, i mean uh, everybody gets a cup of tea they, they, <laughs> not everybody but most people yes most of them. <laughs> yeah and uh like i say you've got to be, got to be fair people and when we're buying as well if you give them a fair price and you know that stuff yeah. they'll keep bringing stuff in and the amount of stuff we get in all the time is, is unbelievable and if there's a problem, people know they're going to get it sorted. We'll swap anything if, if they want to. Like a Marie fund, whatever they want to do, we'll, we'll look after them. Yeah. And the youngsters, like you've got youngsters in the shop now, you've got to get the youngsters into it. We'll let them play on the play on the train layout, let them have a drive of the trains. You've got to get them involved because that's our future that we need. We all need it. Yes. Very important. Absolutely. Part of it, absolutely. It How are you finding things in general as a shop? Generally okay. It has been quiet this last few weeks, but generally. Pretty still, it's holding up pretty well. The hobby, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Can, you know, let's be honest, considering what's going on in the real world, but it's it's, it's doing pretty well. Uh, we have noticed there's the, with the prices going up on a lot of the new uh, Batman and Hobby products and the others, that side of it's taken a bit of a slide, really. But the second-hand stuff is very buoyant for us, and luckily that's where we focus on now. Yeah. Pre-owned stuff, which you've seen in here, you can get the stuff in here that you won't see anywhere else. Yeah, <laughs> and that sells because it's something that nobody else has got. We we do we do very well. Yeah, no, no, so it's it, really it, it turned over okay. You know, I've got to be honest. Behind the scenes, there's a lot of upkeep to keep it going. And you know, when we shut the door at night, there's still emails to do. There's telephone calls, yeah. things to pick, things to fix. It's all got to be dealt with. And it takes yeah. a lot of time. Oh yeah, because I notice you do mend things as well. We do. Yeah, here. yeah. Right. Okay, so anybody can bring well, something well, they in. They can, yeah. If it's an easy one, we do try and do it while they're here. If it's something complicated, we, we rely on a couple of lads to, to help us do it. And you know, while you're watching this, <laughs> we are we are always inundated because there's not many shops even touch it now. So oh right, okay. If we, yeah, we we try things, but it's getting parts for things. That's the main thing. It's, it's some of the modern oh, parts are. That's uh, where the issue is more than anything. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we, we've got some skillful I've people. I've heard you've got Roger and Paul doing layouts. Yes, and they do baseball boards. construction and installation. If anybody's interested in that type of stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, they'll travel wherever needs to be to be done, and they do a very good job. Mm. Roger's an excellent joiner, and Paul's very good, he's so knowledgeable about everything, he's very, very oh, good. Yeah, so we, we're yeah. very lucky, we've got a good, uh, strong set of, uh, you know, helpers behind us, it's great. Yeah, and I think that's what you need, to, you know, if you're going to offer things like that. And it's nice yeah, that, even because I didn't think about, you know, the start-up, about mm. the baseboards, and just getting everything that's set right. up. Yeah. And not everybody's that way inclined, no, they love the train, that's right. but that's the actual... Big, yeah layout and, and everything and once, else once they've been shown the help and how to get it going and then they get going and that's the, the main thing when we get them in once you get them involved in it and people love the setting up of the layout they may need that bit of help to start off with once they get going with the main basics they're away yeah and for yeah. most people it's actually the, the miniature world rather than the trains that's that's part of it you know they love the scenics and the buildings and everything else yeah that seems to be the more more popular thing yeah yeah, yeah it's good it's good we get some cracking customers in. We really do. From all over the country, they come see us. Honestly, from oh, look, all over. I believe that one this morning. Yeah, yeah from Liverpool. To Liverpool, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, we have so it just it shows you what people yeah. will will do. You know, yeah. they will travel to they get will. what they want. Yeah, yeah. And we had some international customers just very recently. We had a lad in from South Korea, who was here visiting the UK. We've had one from Australia recently, one from New Zealand. They literally come from everywhere. You know. Oh. And if, it, it could, you know, if you go and Google it's model shops in Manchester, look, you know, luckily we're one of the top it ones, so we'll come and see us. Yeah, and, good. And uh, spend money, which is great. <laughs> Always. <laughs> <Yeah>. Always. Yeah, <laughs> good. Yeah, we did, yeah. A gentleman from Dubai as well. Oh. He flew over just to do some Christmas shopping. <gasps> wow. Back. Same day. How about really? That? Oh my goodness. With his, uh, what colour credit card did he have? Oh, was it a black credit card or something? Endless amount on it. Oh, uh, wow. Really, yeah. Yeah. So, all yeah. good. But we're doing yeah. okay. And thanks to likes of Paul and all, we keep the place going. It's a, it's a good place and a nice atmosphere. Yeah, we try and treat everybody uh, equally and uh, have a good yeah. laugh with people if we can. It's good. Yeah. Good. No, but no, it's a lovely shop. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's still stuff. If we kept walking around about five or six yeah, times, yeah. we'd still find more and mm -hmm. more to look at. And I think that's the key. Yeah. 
But it is stacked high. It I've is. Got... We can't go much further, can we? <laughs> no. <laughs> People always say we need a big shot. I know we need a bigger shot. I'm very conscious of that. But it's the cost of the round where we are in Manchester. It's a very high. You're costing them for business and yeah. you know, to get any shop that's only got a frontage is a lot of money and I think people don't realise that behind the scenes of the cost to keep on these places open, it's yeah. staggering. Keep Honestly. it as it is. Yeah. Oh, all yes. customers. <laughs> you literally rammed up to the ceiling, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I've come back again. <laughs> it's longer than James Bond film this. Wow. I mean... We'll come, we'll come back and look in more detail. Are the trains going around here? Yeah. There's little tank engines up there. Oh, nice blue diesel. Really nice, aren't they? Well, I do a stock take here, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. And more cars. So Thomas, we've not even looked behind the counter what's there yet, have we? That's full as well. Should we go to the other end? Yeah, go for it. Oh, all these here, look. Airfix, mainline. Some Lima. Wow, this place is packed. Some Wren wagons. I forgot just how much there is here, you know. I know. Because it's that busy, you can't always look everywhere. I've only gone for a, for a short while from Batman through Murphy's in Ireland in Dublin. Wow. Look at that. That's it, beautiful. It looks almost American, doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. does, Why? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we'll let it go. What do you think of these? I know it's a pacer. They do a great a Manchester one, which is in um, orange. Yeah. Oh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, that one. I mean, we don't like them in real life, but when obviously on the, on the layout, I think they look quite good. Yeah. I'm tempted to get one of those at some point. Right. So we have a look down here. It says it's got all these TT models here. Do you want to have a look? Why not? The old original Triang TT. Smaller than I remember. <laughs> it is a very, very good inter intermediate size, isn't it? Oh, which is that one? 12. They're very solid as well, those. They really do. Okay, that's that. Very old again. What are these? These don't. That's um, an old Triang. In fact, I can see them you know, with the roof buckles. Yeah. These haven't, thankfully. These look like spares repair some of these. Little Hornby ones. You got your coaches. Look at them. They are very old. <laughs> you don't have any interior. Look at that. That one below it. Sorry, yeah, that's that a try and Hornby as well. Not as bad did you remember actually you know for how old it is yeah it can definitely be still used I think these are newer ones here another mail coach these little starter locos for the the children you know, like 20 quid each got billy oh we're not seeing a billy no, no blue ones. And they say experimental livery, XP64. You know when they first started doing the locos blue? How nice is that? Uh, nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Quite a selection of DMUs here. It's like the one we've got, but ours is the, you know, a two-car set. Ah. So set blue and grey. So everyone here is blue and grey. Oh, this is ideal for you, isn't it? <laughs> All these old Hornby Mark Twos and Mark Ones. Oh, there's a red one. Oh. There's an interloper in there. <laughs> so anybody wants any blue and grey coaches? They're in here. I think this one had Pullmans in. 
<laughs> oh no, more blue and grey. <laughs> A lovely selection of cars here as well. Super service. This is the engage. Look at that. that? Oh, we didn't see up here, did we? The road up ones look. There's another one there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's quite a selection of mainline up there. I think they're all mainline, those. And there's some more behind us, we've seen. But look at that. A nice green one. Oh, that is nice. That's yeah. like mm. uh, should I think the name for him? Ferry van. Shall we have a look in the cabinet of dreams? <laughs> Running on the Scottish Highlands because it's Loch Lomond, and that's the, the Scotty Scotty dog. Ah, that's why that's on there. And you got this is called Intercity Swallow Livery because it's got a swallow on. So that is really <laughs> nice. I think that is a, one of the best liveries ever done. That mm. definitely. I mean, you need to get your modern colas. I think that's all about standing out, isn't it? Yeah. And it certainly does. It's massive, isn't it? It is huge. Yeah. I mean, you think that was a big loco in the class fifty-eight? You know, in the eighties when they came out. It's completely dwarfed by that. Yeah, absolutely. Then you got your, your class 40, one Coco one. What an awful lot of wheels there. <laughs> National coal board, um, I think it's a J94. Uh -huh. You got your Ligier F1 car, and Stuart F1, that was started by Jackie Stewart as his team. Owns the tartan on it, <laughs> caused a bit of controversy at the time. Can't put tartan on the car. Well, they, well I did, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then we got all the old stuff here. Some Ren stuff behind there. I wonder what that is. Um, don't look. Then you've got these. I know you like those. <laughs> oh, look at this <laughs> little dock shunter. Other one is good you. The red one. The yellow one as well, and, as, and the black one. Yeah. They are nice, though. Yeah, I've just. the black one. Yeah, we, we got the black one. But look at this. It's an old one, isn't it? Triang. You don't see many of those. Do we know? It's Wren. North Sea Fish. We could do. I'd like to pick up a full set of them. And this is the, the Kobo. That's £89. So you got six wheels and four. Ah. That is, weighs an absolute ton if you hold it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. It's fantastic, isn't it? I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Too much. How much is that one? This one is 89 quid. It's fantastic. It's not the most detailed, obviously. No. It's harder to detail the metal, but it's nice. I do like that. I think everybody has a favourite, so don't they? I remember seeing them as a kid. My friend's dad had one. The mainline Peak. Is that the... No problem. I'll come back to you. 60 pounds. I can't read the name. East Lancashire oh, yeah. Railway. So that's a later one. The first one they did um, was the Manchester Regiment. That's ah. a later one. It's possibly got some improvements on there as well. It's like what you see in the old shops, isn't it? Compared to, to that. Uh, yeah. There's a lot more room in this one. But an older cabinet for the older models. Yes. You know. Yes. We don't know that's deliberate, well, but it, it works it? well, doesn't it? Right. Oh, there's some fantastic stuff in here. Oh my God. I used to have one of those. Can we open it? Yeah. We can. A... <laughs> Girl around. Crawl around. <laughs> These old push along trains. I think the dinky toys. I used to have a blue one of those. And it's got the box with it, which is unusual and fantastic. Can you guess what this is? Yeah. Ren Golden Arrow Bullman. Or Triang. No, is it? Yeah. They did a lot of continental stuff, Triang. Very basic, but that. They might, were, yeah. Right. Robertson's, Wren, 
Did we get one of those? I'm sure I bought a rabbit. I don't know if we got the grey one. Boards pointing in the right direction, show you the, the good things to do, stop you making mistakes, which is all part of the learning process, but possibly something you might like to avoid. <laughs> so yeah, pop yeah. into the shop, ask for Paul and Roger and they'll, they'll get you started and give you some good, very handy advice. And maybe you end up with something looking as good as this, who knows? Yeah. So got all these model kits for all you kit builders out there, planes, boats, cars, Space shuttles, <laughs> that'd be a good one to do, I like that. I and we've got a whole load more at the bottom, let's pull out at random, let's see what we find. British infantry figures. <laughs> First World War. And people do so many different eras, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And you've got all these scenic things here. Kits again. Castle dock. <laughs> There's anything you could possibly find. Apparently they even do guarding gnomes now, which is good. <gasps> Don't, please. Got all these magazines for free, if you want any. That's and you're popping right, into the shop. In, yeah, right, you just come in the door. Yeah. And it's nice to be able to share these things. There's an awful it? lot there. Blooming cold, though. <laughs> Look at that dobber. Goodness. Rochdale. That's appropriate, <laughs> isn't it? That's nice, that. Some weight in it. Look at that. For proper rubber tyres as well. Dead smooth when you roll it. So now we're going to have a look at all these wagons and some coaches as well. So you've got a mix of Wren, Mainline, Dapple, more Dapple, Lima, Airfix. So you've got quite a mix. So these are all actually coaches, I think. So that's the, the Mark IIs from Airfix. Very good model. It's still acceptable today. I think Harmy still do it. There's the other one. So I think, what can this one be? Oh, that's nice, replica railways. New, fitted with metal wheels. Ah. So the plastic when they first came out, and yeah, we complained. Just over time, isn't it? Things yeah, change the main or... line always had plastic wheels. You don't get that clickety-clack sound, but you can change them. Yeah. I, I find them absolutely fine. A lot of people don't like them because they say they, they dirty the track. That's like those sausage ones we've got, but in blue. Ah, yeah, yeah, I get you. Oh, this Lima box for some reason is gold. Yeah, they're a very good model actually, for the standards of the time. Underrated a lot of the Lima stuff. And what's this? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I snuck his way in there, hasn't it? I haven't a clue what that'd be. Oh, we got a box. That's all cars. More cars, more cars. Bit of scenery. Let's carry on with the wagons What's now, this though. One? Um, you have to bring it out for the light. East Anglian meat. Oh, it's got right. a pig on it there. <laughs> That's certainly bright. That's £8.50. What yeah. could this be? I'm guessing it's continent. Oh, O gauge. Ah. 29 quid for an O gauge wagon. So big. <laughs> Very bright one as well, isn't it? Then our favourite, Dapple. We do so many rare ones, you know, commissions. Ah, oh, yeah. So every time you go out, you'll find a, a limited edition Dapple. There you go, limited edition, 38 <laughs> of 100. We didn't know. So anybody who collects Dapple will be skin. Oh yes. I like those. Yeah, we've got one of those, haven't we? Maybe not in Dapple. I think we've got, we've got that, um, I don't know. <laughs> Wet Nelly, as they called it when they were producing the film. Really? Yeah. It's used for the, the um, Spy Who Loved Me. Right. The Lotus Esprit. You used to have missiles that fire out of there in the models. You press that and they, they pop out. Is it there? You pop, there you go. <laughs> Again? Yay! And that would have been pushed back for the, the missiles from the front. You do like Yvonne stuff as well, what's in here? Well, especially with Roger Moore. <laughs> you know what the name of his autobiography was? Oh. My word is my bond. What the hell is that? Lovely man. 
Proper gentleman. Main line. Horbras. I think we've got most of these. It's always good to have a look at the ones we've missed. Really nice 31 in there. Great livery. And the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour Bus. I love the Beatles. Still exists that in real life. Does it? Yeah. It's <laughs> a German battle cruiser. With, uh, there was two of them, the, the Scharnhurst and that one, which I can't pronounce. Genois. <laughs> that sounds French though, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, they both, they both oh, got sunk. Danny. They both got sunk, anyway. <laughs> Kids at the playground and swings oh. up. <laughs> That's good. They do absolutely everything. I mean, no Hampshire pigs. pigs. <laughs> Even choose your model of pig. Look at all them up there. Has it seen the APT at the top as well? I didn't point that out. <laughs> They're going to nice oh, yes. spam can and that railway children's set. Celebrating the new film. Oh, yeah. These GM ones, you remember them? <laughs> it's the old delivery. And they went to this with the brown at the bottom in the early 80s, didn't they? Something like that. Yes. I'll get the booth to sign it. <laughs> you better do a risk assessment before you get in here. Well. Um, no, we're okay for now. Because okay, well, all these are all DCC fitted, the locos in here are all DCC Tell me what those green ones are there at the back. Yeah, class mm -hmm. 156 Central Trains, that's a Hornby one. That's Central, where's yeah, yeah. the Midlands area? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't see many of those. You don't. You used to work into Manchester Piccoli at one time, but it's all been, uh, I think, ah, taken over by right. East Midlands Trains now. But it's smart livery, isn't it? And that's just, the, the Scottish Glasgow Strap 5 PTE livery. I've seen one. those before, I've not seen yeah. the green ones. Really? All these sell very well. Little cars are very popular as well. Yeah. There's quite a lot in there, isn't there? Just watch your walking towel, just push it to the Yeah, if you want to pick them up, Rick. I was just going to. Well, that one was. You're intrigued, aren't you? There's something that you want to look at. There's a little blue tank engine. I've not seen that one before. Only 29 quid. JPGR. Who's he? Yeah, 29. Yeah, I just wonder what the JPGR. I'm going to close something made up. Ah. From a set, is it? Yeah. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't really want to call you Make it up. Is that. S oh, here we go. Get this down. This is like the red one we've got, but without the big chrome dome. I think the chrome dome makes it there. Yeah. And it, it decided to do it without. <laughs> a little small without. Is that the old 19s, uh, the 70s? Yeah. Is that the one with the Holby phone number on? It's yes, it is, yeah. yeah. That's the Graham Farris one. We saw a few of those. I yeah. like those. It's a good livery. And this yeah. is the, the older packaging they've done. Yeah. SC Pritchard. Wolverhampton. <laughs> HST set. Oh, 90 pounds. It's the very, very early one. Got all this. Paul in. A load of Lima diesels. How do we not have a look at these? Oh. And it doesn't say what uh, they are on the end. I bought a few Lima. Oh, a warship. It's one we haven't got. 40 pounds, is it? Mm. It says, it says it's a wagon. It's not a wagon, it's too heavy. There you go. A 37 in regional railways. <laughs> East Lancashire Railway, it's called. Oh, these are all 37s here, aren't they? A green one. Hmm, not my favourite colour. We know. We <laughs> like some Well, most actually. diesels back then were blue. Oh, that's an intercity. Mm. Better than the Hornby one. So they're class it? 60s under there, yeah. Well, when Hornby took over Lima, they dropped doing their HS teams, carry on doing Lima's because it were better. <laughs> right, okay. Lima Crab. They don't do many steamers. Tender drive. Blackman coaches. Let's have a look down here. So that's replica started doing the main line model with some improvements. You know that Manchester one we saw? Oh, uh, yeah. So it's basically the same one. That's 49.50. Oh. That's preserved. What was it? They're just redoing it, rebuilding it again. My favourite, the 25. They're all, another, another one there. And what we got here? 86, electric one.
You've got your Jouef, class 40. It's got a new nameplate added to it. There's two more under there. Mm. They're all the blue one. I prefer the green one. That's why I bought the blue one. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> It's the Royal Marines. Right, that's these are class 45s, aka Peaks. That's a later one, the Lancashire Fusilier. There's the blue one. I prefer the green. Yeah? Yeah, I can see why. Oh, look at that. <laughs> And the mother shops you go in and you see things like that. <laughs> You've been let loose, loose you lot today. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, <laughs> go on then. It's just trying to find the perfect combination, isn't it? Because obviously they get the crest wipes off, but then you have a problem with where it says Pullman, that gets bloody yeah, chips no, off. Yeah. It's, it's annoying. It's worth it to come up and it's just oh, yeah. it's, very, it's very, very, you get them completely not, not marked. I know. And then they would fetch some money. It's an old model though, you know, it's a good it isn't good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you don't have... It's you not on that track, isn't it, really? It's, not, it's, not it's just the points, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see them wobble a bit on it, but apart from that. There's the blue shunner, Thomas. And what's this one called? Lady Patricia. Oh. That's a lovely name. There's no, Tornado. Yes. Yeah. Virgin Livery. Yeah. HST. Oh, that's DCC fitted. Yeah. On 25, that's good. And we down here, another Thomas over there. Hello, Thomas. Now you'll never guess what caught Pauline's eye. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say, but isn't that beautiful? Princess Alice. How streamlined is that? I, I, I do like those, yeah. especially in blue. But I prefer them without the streamlining. Looking like this one here, the red, the maroon one. Nah. Duchess of Abercorn. <laughs> That's my favourite steam logo. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's why we've bought so many of them. Luckily, Ren do them. Uh, so we'll look down here. Look at this, Anglia liveries. Yeah, Look at these wagons here. They're unusual. I have not seen those before. I have no idea. Messages in the comments. But look at that at the end as well. Like a mini cream for something. Yeah. We didn't see all of these here, did we? No. Some sentinels at the back. What are those there? Push me, pull you one. I know that's not the real name, but <laughs> you like it. They're very unusual, aren't they? Trams. How colourful. Mm. And that is an old Triangle Woodhead Electric. There we go, there's the ATF. Again. Great model, this is one that has the metal tender. You've got all the tissue paper, you've got the, the packing rings, which apparently Ren collectors insist are in there. <laughs> and the instructions, which so often get overlooked. If you go on eBay, you'll see them for 20 quid. Really? For the instructions. Just for the instructions. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. We've got a pile of them. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on eBay then. <laughs> <laughs> we should have more. But yeah, the 8F, that's, what, that's one of the best models they did. Um, and what I do like about it, you've got daylight under the boiler, which for a model of that age, I mean, when was it done? Barnaby Double, what, 50s? Yeah, yeah. And to have daylight under the boiler is phenomenal, isn't it? Especially when it's die cast yeah, as well. Yeah. A lot of people don't notice that. Yeah, that's very good condition, that inner box there, isn't it? that one? Um, I don't know, he's not got a price on it. Not Sometimes Somewhere? Yeah. Sometimes I fall underneath it, it's um, no. uh, 89 pounds. It's the LNER one as well. Oh, it's in the wrong box on the speedarian side, isn't it? Ah, ah, I didn't notice, to be honest. That's a nice little thing. Look at that one. Ah. That's, that's, that's it. Oh, there it now is. Inside the box, if you wish. Not a problem. It's the southern one. Well, uh, that one tank, that's a very sweet one, isn't it? They are. They're a good model. They're very, you know, they last forever. Yeah, yeah. That's the best thing yeah. about them. 
That's the BR version. Which oh, is yeah. Not quite as glamorous as that, to be perfectly honest with you. It's the more popular the BR ones, aren't they? Yeah. Again, you've got all your spare couplings in there as well. There's so much we've even gone into, isn't there? Like here. Hoppers. Coaches. Well, that's a nice puffy coach. Backman one. Yeah. Highly detailed. The buildings here, look. That station. That's the Tarnby one. We saw it in the catalogue. Oh. Then we were looking through that station. We said we'd never seen one. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow. And how much the price on that before? 40 you... quid. But yeah, that's the Hornby. I can't think of the name of it, what it was. But that was in the catalogue we were looking at. Yeah. Well, we were saying it was probably made by a, a foreign company with Hornby branding. Mm. But there's, there's one, we've never seen one before. That's nice, though, isn't it? Damage there, It'll be repaired, no doubt. Just this, some of this is thing good. Oh. I'd, put, I'd put a bit of scaffolding on there and having it been redone. <laughs> yeah, it's a good you. idea. Cause you can tell it's continental with yeah. all these shutters, can't you? It's a big one. <laughs> off the top of my head, possibly Volmer. Wow. Um, Looks good.